Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see the enhanced version of uh, this 150 watts DC to DC boost converter module. And uh, uh, if you are going to buy this module from the market, so by default, it can give you a peak of 150 watts and uh, voltage of uh, 32 volts or 35 volts. Uh, and the peak current is around uh, 6 amperes. But uh, uh, here in this enhanced version, we are going to enhance the uh, output current that we can drive from this circuit. And as you can see, I have used three MOSFETs over here. And these are IRF3205 MOSFETs, which are connected in parallel. And uh, the gate of these MOSFETs are actually connected to this uh, uh, circuit so that the pulses can be uh, taken from this circuit and the feedback is also given from this point through this yellow wire so that uh, the mo module or the circuit can continuously check out the output voltage and regulate it as uh, desired here we have also uh, upgraded the inductor because uh, previously the original inductor wire was uh, too thin for passage of high current so we are expecting that this uh, circuit should give uh, up to 10 amperes or higher and uh, this is the first version of the circuit and uh, there are some upgrades that still needs to be done like this uh, rectifier over here that I'm using is a 20 DL 2 C and uh, this rectifier is capable of uh, providing uh, 20 amperes continuous and uh, 30 amperes uh, while in pulsating mode so uh, still uh, this single uh, rectifier I think is not uh, enough for uh, uh, the desired output current of around uh, 10 amperes or uh, higher so uh, if we are going to add uh, two rectifiers here so this is going to uh, give us a uh, further uh, improved version of this uh, circuit right so as you can see here that I have connected my uh, bench power supply and I have uh, made a complete video on this power supply uh, using a simple computer power supply so if you uh, haven't watched this uh, tutorial so check out the link in the description above uh, and uh, here is the a torch uh, 185 watts uh, load tester so we are going to uh, put a load on this circuit and we're going to see if this circuit is capable of uh, providing us uh, any uh, range of say 6 amperes or higher current uh, since there are some limitations uh, in this circuit, for example, these wires are not uh, meant to take the 6 amperes current. So there might be some issue while testing it. Uh, so I have to uh, keep the test within limits so that uh, uh, any of the component might not just burn, right? So here's the closer version of this circuit. Here we can see that uh, the input voltage is provided at this point and uh, through this inductor the input voltage is going to the drain of this these MOSFETs as well as the uh, rectifier over here right I have joined the uh, anode of the uh, rectifier the first Pin and the third pin and the cathode is the output so this is the output and uh, the feedback voltage that is this yellow wire is going back into this uh, module so that the voltage regulation should be there also the uh, this uh, white wire over here if you can see this white wire is uh, the gate uh, this is for the gate of these MOSFETs uh, which is from this module and uh, the 
source of these MOSFETs are going back through this black wire into this module. Uh, this is the sense resistor which is sensing the current through these MOSFETs and uh, there is a sense resistor on this module but uh, it is not uh, high enough or the power of this that uh, resistor is not high enough to handle the high current that, that we are expecting after the addition of these components on this uh, uh, boost converter so uh, let's start the process here you can see the inputs are uh, given to this uh, module and the module is currently in the working state the red indicator light is turned on and uh, here we can see the uh, voltage that is being read uh, on these cables right so uh, when i'm connecting my multimeter onto this uh, wire this is the output wire so it says uh, a 15 volts output but uh, as you can see there is a 0.4 volts of drop across these wires so as i mentioned previously that these wires are not capable of uh, uh, like providing a slow loss uh, and uh, voltage as well as the high current at the points of test right so uh, for testing the uh, this module we are going to start the load current at 1 ampere and we are going to slowly increase it uh, and we are going to check the temperature of these uh, heat sinks uh, while during the test so that to ensure that uh, um, they are not uh, going beyond the limits right uh, i don't have any uh, temperature sensor right now so i'm just going to uh, touch these heat sinks to ensure that uh, they are not too hot uh, so that we can stop the test at any phase of this uh, test procedure right so let's begin this test so here you can see the cutoff voltage is kept below the uh, source voltage so that the test can start right now I have, I, I have set the uh, load current to 1 amperes uh, so that we can check it uh, if this circuit is capable of providing one ampere and slowly we are going to increase the current so let's start the test procedure all right here you can see uh, this load is uh, working right now and we are getting uh, around uh, 11.3 watts from this circuit If I check the heat sinks, so they are looking okay right now. All right, an upgrade. I have set the cutoff voltage to 9.9 .9 volts so that uh, the test procedure may not stop suddenly. Uh, because uh, as we increase the current so uh, the voltage is going to drop slowly right uh, so for one ampere test looks fine we are going to move ahead and increase the current to two amperes output power is 22 watts current is two amperes and uh, you can see source voltage has dropped to 11.1 volts now uh, i'm going to see if the temperature of the heat sinks increasing or not right now they are looking fine to me also this sense resistor is also uh, fine right now in terms of temperature i'm not uh, depending upon the uh, sense resistor of this module because uh, we need a higher power 
resistor over here right for sensing the current at the load so the test looks fine to me temperature is not rising and uh, that means this uh, module is working right now now we can increase the current to 3 amperes all right so you can see the voltage has dropped to 10.9 volts and the power output power is 33 watts again checking the temperature of these heat sinks and the resistor one thing is to be mentioned here that uh, the first limitation upon uh, increasing the current is there is only one MOSFET under this heat sink right so I can't just uh, continuously increase the current because uh, that uh, MOSFET uh, may just get fry so I just don't want to burn this uh, tester it's a good tester for checking small loads or uh, kind of supplies sorry so here you can see that uh, this boost converter is uh, working as expected uh, we can increase the current a bit higher let's go for 4 amperes here you can see the voltage has dropped to 10.9 volts and output power is 43 watts let's check the heat sinks they look fine to me can we go higher let's try 5 amperes I must see the circuit might just malfunction at any moment this is the very first test that I am doing on this circuit right now so if there is any kind of malfunction we are going to see it right here so these uh, heat sinks are still fine uh, this uh, rectifier is getting a little bit hotter but still we are good to go for even 6 amperes The circuit look fine and uh, I can't go above 6 amperes because uh, this uh, circuit I'm afraid this circuit might just damage my load over here uh, but since this is the very first test of this module and uh, up to 60 watts this circuit is working uh, pretty fine and uh, we can go even higher but uh, for that I have to find some kind of uh, loads like the heater and uh, we can then test this uh, circuit again on that uh, uh, heater load so that we can go up to 200 watts of uh, power and uh, I hope this circuit is going to give us that amount of power right so uh, that's all for today. I hope you have uh, liked this video. If you have any questions related to this uh, um, project, so you can just uh, write in the comment box and I'm going to uh, 
answer about that right so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial take care bye bye